Hello, my name is Josh and I'm creating a Unity template for AR Indo Navigation to help you jumpstart your AR project. This video is sponsored by Multiset, so thank you very much for sponsoring. And let's get right into it. In this scene, you see three maps merged together as one map set, they call it. So this is, in the end, it's three point clouds that are put together. And here in Unity, I've created a small little demo script of the NavMesh agent. And in other videos, I've shown already how to use the NavMesh system for uh, navigation. The Multiset developer led platform is basically like your uh, home for development. So here you see your maps that you've created. I'm going to show you in a minute how to how to create them. Then you have here you have a list of the map sets. So this is um, multiple maps together. Credentials. Here you find the mapping tool or the mapping app currently only available for iOS to capture your area, the SK SDK that you will need to import into Unity, uh, account information, and here you find a link to their tutorials, their uh, documentation guide. This whole code will be available for free on my GitLab. You can replace it with your scan and see how it works. So in the workflow, you're going to use the multi-set capture app to create a map or a map set. They're going to be uploaded to the developer portal. In the future, they're going to also support multiple cameras. They're working on that, so pretty excited to try that out. Then from the developer portal, you're going to download the SDK, the identification detail, and the mesh to your Unity. The mesh you need for knowing where to place your um, AR content. The developer portal has a WebXR integration. You can visit it with Chrome for Android. And under maps, you can try out to localize. And in the end, you can build for iOS and Android. The visual positioning system works currently on the cloud, so we need to have a stable internet connection, which is a bit of a downside. But on the long term, they, they're going to try to do this uh, on device. So how to map three areas? This whole process is all um, explained here. The merging, the, the extending. In the beginning, you're just going to start capturing the one one part. So let me show you an example. You're going to wait three, four seconds, and then it starts mapping. You're going to walk through your whole scene that you want to capture. So in the documentations, they say you're five minutes. You can go beyond five minutes. But I also have had issues with um, scanning above five, or five minutes. Yeah, so here was actually recording 10 minutes, so quite a big space but in the end this has worked out great then it's done give a name to the map save it as draft and then you can come back here to drafts check that your wi-fi is on then click on the map here we can upload don't do this in mobile data because they will take forever and i had an issue with the map once uploaded, you're going to see the state pending, and uh, when the processing is finished, you're going to see state uh, active. Before merging, you maybe want to try to localize it. Once it's processed, and here it says active, then you actually can start localizing or using this, this map for localization. So you click on it, and then it's going to ask you, you want to try localizing, then you say next. And then you click on this button right on the right here here you can reset the error session here you can really you can call the localization um, function and then it's trying to localize so as soon as you see the the mesh showing up you know okay we have uh, localized successfully and uh, you can go a bit around test how stable it is etc then if you want to merge maps like i said you have to wait until they're processed and then it's going to look like this. So you're going to come here again. Are you, you're going to select the one that you want to merge. And then you select the second one that you want to merge. 
and then it's gonna ask you go to this go to the first one localize and when it's localized go to the next so it's asking me to localize here move to the bfh2 move to the second one and this message is also helpful it localized successfully but the localization was not accurate enough to use for merge so that's going to ask you to move to to another place and try localizing again then as soon as it's localized you can enter the the map set name create map set and then you can go back here to the uh, start menu map sets a map set you can extend I don't know how many times, I don't know if there's something in the docs, but uh, you can extend it. And it is recommended by the developer to use the origin, so where you started the map, um, to use for, for merging. For now, that should, should work the best. In one case, I had the issue that it was mapped uh, not correct. You can check this by going into here, the map set, view map set, view maps. For this map set, it was also a bit weird that it, uh, it's kind of wonky. <laughs> oh, the first merge, like I showed in the picture, it was like this. Then I re simply removed it from the, from the app and I added in again and then, uh, then it worked. But like you can see here, it it positioned correctly and it helped that I, I merged from the origins. Okay, now let's get started with our Unity project. So let's stop this here. Okay, so let's get started with a new project. I'm gonna use the built in render pipeline. Let's say map set example. Okay, so once this is open, we can go back to the Unity guide. And here we're gonna, gonna take you through all the steps. So first, you want to go here and download the, the SDK. And you're gonna add it here, assets, import assets, custom package. Downloads, SDK, import. Then you're going to see some errors, no panic. This is because we are still some assets missing. So we go to the package manager. Let's put it inside here. And then we're going to install the remaining packages that are listed here. Let's just take the, the, the version. No, it's going to take this version. Ah, yeah, it's going to take it. Go to the project settings and enable the platform that you want to build for. So here, XR, project settings, XR plugin management. So my way to go to the project settings is always overbuild. Make sure you also select Android or iOS platform. So here in XR plugin management for Android, we're going to select Google AR Core. You have the iOS installed. I think I don't even have it installed here on on the windows but uh for the other project i already did it so i'm not going to show it again so you just have to click air kit okay so then we still need to add client id and client secret from credentials so uh, video test video map set so we have the client id and those you're gonna um, add here. So I'm going to show you this whole thing in their example scene. Scenes. So assets, multi scene scenes, localization. Then here you see the multi set SDK manager. Here, open multi set configuration. This is a file, assets, multi set resources, multi set config. Here we can add the ID. And then the secret, don't share the secret online. And also don't put it in your Git repository. Now, as we said, we have finished setting up Unity with the SDK. 
we can start building the prototype. Let's get into it. So in here, you have the XR origin. Here's the main camera. And you have the AR session. This is from Air Foundation. And here you have a canvas for the whole UI. And here you have these reset buttons. The it's actually not the capture button, it's like localize, it's calling the localize frame function. Go to localize. And then you have a, a toast panel for messages. And here you have the map uh, multi-set SDK manager. So here you're gonna set up, for example, the maps or the the map set. So for example, if you so for example, if you just want to localize it within one map, you're gonna go to maps. And here you're going to copy the map code. You're going to paste it here. Boom. And you can localize within this map. And here is the map space. So everything that is within this space, this will be localized or this will be positioned at this place. So how to know where to put things. For this thing. So I'm going to show it now with the map set because only one space will probably be too small so you're gonna create map sets so yeah it's the same process for the map so we're gonna go back here and we say map set and we go here map set and we copy this map set code boom it's showing we can go here download textured mesh Ready to download. Let's try also the raw mesh so you see the, see the difference. Obviously, you see this is much bigger than this one. So, this is gonna use texture map, is gonna use much more space. So, let's import them. See what I'm doing. Them right here. As soon as they're in here, we can pull them into the scene gonna put them as child of the map space so here we have our map set now we can place content so usually I create an augmentation parent a parent where you can place all things below so here with the nav mesh the nav mesh let's create a capsule uh, capsule, capsule. I'm gonna make it uh, 0.5. Place it here. And here we're gonna add the agent. There you go. And so, one thing we need to still install is the project Unity registry. You're gonna need to. AI navigation package. This is for the nav mesh system. Then we're gonna create another one nav mesh. Then we're gonna add the nav mesh reference. So and as soon as you have this, you can basically click bake. Most of the time, first is never turning out well but uh, yeah generally if there are a bit holes you should adjust a bit the, the agent increase the step height a bit uh, this will probably increase yeah so we'll leave that give a bit more angle there you go then we need two destinations. Oh yeah, that will do. Okay, then we're gonna copy the script. So we're gonna copy this from the other project. Scripts. We have the agent demo walk, the nav mesh visualizer, obscurable, occlusion helper, and show path. So the agent demo walk is a like the controller for this demo. I'm gonna add it here. 
gonna have an empty uh, demo controller. So let's assign the agent. Let's assign destination A, destination B, documentation parent. Now what we wanted to do is we wanted to show the the path. So we need a line renderer. Let the line maybe to <coughs> is it is 0.5. Here we don't have to set the color, we need a material. Let's create uh, another material, purple. So we're going to use this for the path. So where's our path? Here it is. So let's uh, now add the other script, show path. Oh, just this. So here we have the show path, you're going to see it. Then the line above, the line height above ground, set it uh, how you want. Show path, this is just to make it uh, for debugging. And corners, I've added this to add a bit of understanding how this works. But basically, it's just a prefab that will show at the corners of the path. Um, let's quickly set this to maybe this. Give this another color. Let's take yellow. don't need a collider so we add this as a prefab and then we can delete this here and here in the path you're gonna sign this prefab this should work let's see so nothing is happening but as soon as you localized you're gonna see the path and then here you see the corners this is basically the corners that the nav mesh system provides where we can calculate the path that's a bit funny that's going all the way here in the back and not here so when you when you will localize this you will just see this moving back and forth so this is just a prototype for navigation so that the i mean the way the wayfinding works and if you want to implement real navigation into this you can take a look at uh, my other uh, tutorials on my YouTube channel. So here you will find navig uh, navigation tutorials, but they are really outdated a bit, I must say. And I created a weekly dev stream where I showed how to do this, and uh, or I was I was working constantly on it, um, improving it. I'm still improving it. So my first conclusion using Multiset is it's a quick start into development. It's a great alternative to for your area targets. Of course, it's a new framework, so it's work in progress. It's early stage. There will be bugs, there will be errors. Um, I invite you to, to join their Discord as well, where you can discuss closely with the developers or you can report issues and uh, find solutions. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Have a good one and see you next time.